Hey there, comrades. Tonight we're diving into a topic that's got everyone in the Middle Kingdom buzzing retirement. Specifically, China's shaking things up with some big changes to when folks get to hang up their hats and relax. Now, you might be thinking, John, retirement? That's about as exciting as watching paint dry. But hold your horses because this is a big deal. We're talking about a country of over 1.4 billion people, many of whom are getting up there in age. These changes are going to have a ripple effect on everything from the economy to the daily lives of everyday Chinese citizens. So, buckle up, grab your favorite beverage, and let's unpack this whole retirement revamp, shall we? Because, as we all know, understanding China's policies is like trying to decipher ancient Sanskrit after a few too many Tsingtao beers. Confusing, potentially alarming, and likely to leave you with a slight headache. So, what's the big change? Well, China is gradually raising the retirement age. For decades, the retirement age has been 60 for men, 55 for female white-collar workers, and 50 for female blue-collar workers. But now, the government is planning to increase it incrementally over the next few years. This is a move to address the aging population and the shrinking workforce. You see, China's population is aging rapidly, and the number of working-age people is declining. This puts a strain on the economy and the pension system. By raising the retirement age, the government hopes to keep more people in the workforce longer, thereby easing some of the economic pressures, but it's not just about economics. This change will also impact the daily lives of millions of Chinese citizens. For some, it means more years of work and less time to enjoy retirement. For others, it could mean more opportunities to save for retirement and a chance to stay active and engaged in their communities. It's a complex issue with no easy answers, but one thing is clear. China's retirement redo is a significant shift that will have far-reaching consequences. So, as we continue to watch these changes unfold, let's keep in mind the broader context and the individual stories behind the statistics. Because at the end of the day, it's about real people and their lives. And that's something worth paying attention to. Thanks for tuning in and stay curious, my friends. Until next time. All right, before we get into the nitty gritty of these new retirement shenanigans, let's rewind a bit. For ages, China's retirement system was pretty straightforward. Men could typically retire at 60, female workers at 55, and female civil servants got a sweet deal at 50. That's right, ladies working for the government got to kick back and relax a full decade earlier than their male counterparts. Now, I'm not saying that's unfair or anything, but let's just say it wouldn't fly in a Western democracy, would it? But hey, different strokes for different folks, right? Or as they say in China, Butong de Ren, Butong de Ming. Okay, so here's the deal with these new retirement rules. It's a hot topic that's got everyone talking. China's decided it's time to pump the brakes on early retirement. The government believes that extending the working years is necessary to sustain economic growth and support the aging population. The government's been gradually raising the retirement age and it's causing quite a stir. This policy shift is part of a broader strategy to address the demographic challenges the country faces. We're talking about potentially pushing the retirement age to 65 for both men and women. This is a significant change from the current retirement ages, which are 55 for women and 60 for men. Yep, you heard that right. Equal retirement ages. This move aims to create a more balanced and fair workforce, but it's not without its controversies. Now, while that might seem like a no-brainer to some, it's a pretty significant shift for a country that's used to having different standards for men and women in the workforce. Historically, women have retired earlier, which has been both a benefit and a challenge. And let me tell you, folks are not exactly thrilled about having to work longer. Many people are concerned about the impact on their health and well-being, especially those in physically demanding jobs. I mean, wouldn't you rather be sipping tea and practicing Tai Chi than stuck in a cubicle? The idea of spending more years in the workforce is daunting for many, especially when they envision their golden years filled with leisure and relaxation. Some elderly workers have expressed their concerns, saying that they feel exhausted and are looking forward to retirement. They worry that extending the retirement age will deprive them of the chance to enjoy their later years. Economists, on the other hand, argue that this policy is necessary to keep the economy stable. With a shrinking workforce and increasing life expectancy, the government needs to ensure that there are enough workers to support the growing number of retirees. It's a complex issue with no easy answers. Balancing the needs of the economy with the well-being of the population is a delicate task. As the debate continues, one thing is clear. 
The way people think about work and retirement in China is changing. Only time will tell how these changes will play out. For now the conversation about retirement in China is far from over, and it's something that will affect millions of lives in the years to come. Now you might be wondering why China's rocking the boat with these retirement changes. Well my friends, it all boils down to a couple of big hairy problems, an aging population and a shrinking workforce. See, China's economic boom over the past few decades has led to people living longer and having fewer babies. This economic growth has been a double-edged sword. On one hand it has lifted millions out of poverty and transformed China into a global economic powerhouse. On the other hand it has created a demographic time bomb. That means there are fewer young folks to support the growing number of retirees. The traditional family structure where younger generations take care of the elderly is under immense pressure. With fewer children being born, the burden on the working age population is increasing. It's like a game of demographic Jenga, and someone just pulled a really important block. The stability of the entire structure is at risk and the consequences could be far-reaching. And let's not forget about the economic implications. A shrinking workforce means slower economic growth and that's something the Chinese government definitely doesn't want to see. The ripple effects could impact everything from global supply chains to international trade relations. The government is trying to balance the scales by encouraging higher birth rates and extending the retirement age. But these measures take time to show results, and the clock is ticking. The challenge is not just economic, but also social, as the country grapples with how to care for its aging population while maintaining its economic momentum.